Hello and welcome to the Star Citizen News, each week bringing you a roundup of what's been happening in the Star Citizen community. Today is Sunday the 13th of September and this week's headlines, the Community Hub, Patch 1.2.1 and Stress Test. The Community Hub has now been opened up to the 2000 original stress testers, but also subscribers and concierge backers too. The Community Hub is a massive collection of YouTube videos, streams, podcasts, web pages, pictures, and social media, all dedicated to Star Citizen and hosted on the Star Citizen website. It will be rolled out to the rest of us very, very soon, but it will basically allow backers to upvote content they like. So please check that out when it goes live. It is incredibly important for us content providers too. The issue council will be available to all backers early next week. This is basically the new bug reporting software, but also will come with a video showing best posting practices and usage guidelines. The idea is you can upvote um, issues and problems based on whether you can repeat them and how much of an issue they are so that you get more of a priority to be fixed or looked at by the dev team. Have you ever reported a bug? Use this software. It, it, it's, this is something that people will say, oh, other people will identify that bug or other people will do it. This is a chance for you to get involved with the development. So when that software comes out, guys, use it if you do see any bugs. In regards to the forums, community hub and issue council, only backers or ready accounts will have access to them. A backer is someone that has spent some form of real currency on their account. A ready account is an account that has a game package. Accounts that have neither of these will only have access to the forum's new recruits section. Patch 1.2.1 is up on the PTU. This is mainly a quality of life hotfix update, mostly addressing some clipping issues in the social module and providing a lot of other fixes to some other issues and the general instance manager. There's also some hidden changes that appears to balance. Most notably, all weapons, and not just Gatling, have some variants of decay, spread, and accuracy loss. Also, Vandal warning to anyone that plays Vandal Swarm. It looks like a lot of the Vandal weapons have received buffs too. This is also great news for Scythe and Glaive owners. There is also a big PTU patch stress test today, Sunday at 7pm GMT. They want everyone involved to play an Arena Commander match and then go onto the social module for 10 minutes, then go back to your hangar and play another Arena Commander match. Report any bugs you find, get involved if you can guys. The weekly FPS update. The code merge seems to have been completed. This means that all versions and all modules of Star Citizen are basically in a single development stream. This is the beginnings of persistence and allows updates and fixes to be much more easily deployed and viewed by the devs. Blockers for the first person shooter module are now, now much more easily identifiable and accessible and I would expect to see quick progress um, and a module release much faster because of the code merge. Notes from the verse. This is where I take a selection of other little news stories and regurgitate them directly back at your face holes. Month till Citizen Con. It's a month till Citizen Con and next month I'm going to be drunk in a bar or possibly hung over by this point. Um, should be really good. Citizen Con is going to have some great stuff hopefully. We're gonna see some Squadron 42, we're gonna be able to meet the devs, and that's gonna be on the 10th of October, so stay tuned for that. For anyone wondering about the Endeavor, there is still no hard date for the concept sale, but I would expect within the next couple of weeks, almost certainly before CitizenCon, the Endeavor won't be sold with variant hulls, but it will be sold as a base ship with no modules, and then you can purchase a variety of modules separately in the same way as the modular base retaliator sale. For you subscribers out there, there's a big slap of alien rock with writing on it for subscriber flair. If you're already a sub, it will be in your hangar. If you're not a sub, but sub over the weekend, it will be there by Tuesday. Not entirely Star Citizen related, but the Ever Space Kickstarter was kickstarted on 11th of September for the amount of 420,000 euros. This space game built in the Unreal 4 engine looks absolutely beautiful, and it's basically a dogfighting roguelike game that promises to be quite simple, fun, and pretty, and high action. The new upgrades and CCU system looks to launch on the first week of October. Sandy Answer Day customer support ticket, and now we know at the very least that's the plan. There's still a massive backlog of customer support tickets, and they have put unmelting ship requests on hold, so don't send any tickets in for that, guys. 
in Around the Verse, this week's sneak peek was the female character hairstyles. There have been a bit about character creation in the forums and questions to Chris Roberts and the devs recently, so it's good to see that they're actually looking more at diverse character creation. This character and hair is all what CIG call the Terra White Collar series, from the mock pictures we've seen anyway. And finally, Star Citizen is about to hit $89 million in fan funding. This is an absolutely staggering amount of money to be crowdsourced. But anyway guys, thanks very much for watching the news. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help me. And I will see you in the verse.